Hi there, welcome to my channel. So, you are a STEM teacher and you are now teaching in a new normal where you are teaching your students online or maybe hybrid. How can we continue to promote critical thinking and collaboration among our students? First off, when you were still teaching your students face-to-face, -face, do you remember activities and strategies that you used to promote critical thinking? Yes, you probably have used your good old sticky notes in class. Recently, the Post-it brand conducted a back-to-school STEM research study which found that parents with middle and high school age students ranked math and science as the subjects that will prepare their students the most for the job market. And yet, they are the subjects their students struggle with the most. This suggests a new approach to teaching in the STEM classroom and maybe one focus on engaging critical thinking and compelling anchoring concepts as opposed to the classic approach of distribution of facts and information. Whether you're introducing a key idea, revisiting a concept, or clarifying misconceptions students have about complex ideas, concept attainment using sticky notes can be a useful tool in your teacher toolbox. And now, in your Google Slide virtual classroom. In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to make sticky notes in your Google Slides and how to use them to promote critical thinking and collaboration in your new classroom, your Google Virtual Classroom. But before we begin, if you are new in my channel, please click the like and subscribe button below. And if you like this video, leave your comments and share it to your teacher friends. To begin, we will open a blank Google Slide document to create our sticky notes activity. Click on File, New, delete the default text boxes, and X out the teams. Like what we did in our drag and drop activity, we will need to decide what items or aspects of our activity that we want our students to be able to move around or manipulate, and which ones are locked from their control. For this sample sticky notes activity, I will be doing a biology lesson on virus where students will describe the structure, characteristics of viruses, their mechanisms, and identify and describe several viral diseases like COVID and ways to defend ourselves against them. I will begin by asking my students this question. So I'll go ahead and insert a new text box. After typing my question, I will go ahead and style my text box. I want to increase the font size to uh, 25. I want to change the font style to Kavit, make it bold, make it center. I will also drop the shadow of my text. So I'm going to go ahead and hit and right click, click Format Option, and check Drop Shadow. I will also add my instruction on what the students need to do to respond to this question. To make it easier, I will just copy the first text box I made. To make it attractive and won't look plain, I will need a picture that I will put as a background image for this slide. So let's go find one in the web. Now that we have our picture and question in place, we can now lock these items. To do this, I'm going to save this slide as a PNG or JPEG image. To do that, go to File, go down to Download, and select PNG image. Now I'm going to open a new blank Google Slide document so I can save this original picture and directions so if I made a mistake, I can go back and edit my question, direction, and picture. Next, we will start making our sticky notes. Here's how to create them. I will add sticky notes by clicking on Insert, Shapes, 
it's right there almost at the center. When you have inserted the sticky note, click the paint bucket icon in, in the toolbar to change the color of the notes. For this one, I'm going to use yellow. You may also want to drop the shadow to make it look 3D. To drop the shadow, right click on your sticky note, select format options, and check the drop shadow. Resize it and make several copies of your sticky notes. Stack them up, then create another stack using different color. If the plan isn't to print this slide, don't stick your sticky notes to the regular slide dimension. Instead, put the sticky notes stack on the left and right side so you and your students will have a lot of space to work. And create more stacks. By the way, there's one thing we forgot to do a while ago, and that is to insert our background image that we have downloaded. Now I can make more questions. Now that we are done creating our sticky notes brainstorming activity, it is time for us to try this. Now it's your turn to challenge your creativity on how you can use sticky notes for your online brainstorming activity. Share your ideas in the comment section below. And by the way, doing this kind of activity isn't automatically made better with technology. In fact, when I do brainstorming activities in my classroom, I usually turn to a notebook many times. There's a lot of ways to make your students gather ideas, think critically, and brainstorm. I know you have your favorite, but I suggest for you to gather as many strategies as you can, get familiar with it, and instinctively, the best one will always come to mind. Go with your gut and use whatever feels best for you and your students. One last thing before we finish up, make sure to teach your students first the basic tools in Google Slides like an undo button before starting your sticky notes brainstorming activity so they can correct their unwanted errors. Also, you may want to make several copies of your sticky notes Google slide if you are teaching multiple classes. That's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to leave me your comments and like and subscribe to my channel so you will be updated on my next video tutorial. That's it for now. I will see you next time.